Hello there, this is Amanda Wilkes and Ava Amanda Wilkes and Tarot. It is Tuesday, September the 7th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I do thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Virgo? <coughs> Excuse me. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that star shining bright inside of you. So the general reading, it will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. Spirit. First card out. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> pentacles are Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Two of Pentacles. Eh, Wishy-washy behavior. Um, <coughs> juggling work and home life. Uh, maybe juggling people. Like having two people at once. I mean, not literally juggling people. Let's see. What is crossing this? Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. Cups are water energy. Can't spicy Scorpio. The Nine of Cups. <clears throat> you deserve to be loved. You are lovable. You need to love your self-love. This is talking about emotional independence. You are single because you know that you deserve someone just as fantastic as you are. This is emotional independence. When you're at this vibration, that's when you attract your person. What is consciously known? Nine of Swords. Who's got you in Nine Swords? Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Nine Swords. Sleepless nights. Worrying. Bad dreams. Thinking about what you could have done, should have done differently. Nine Swords all up in your head. Unconscious. Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cats, Pisces, Scorpio. This is happiness, joy, bliss, friendship. They're all sitting around the table having drinks. Recent past. Ace of Cups. New love. New love. Cups are water energy. Cats, Pisces, Scorpio. Aces are all about new. New love. Like the his eyes are hearts, his nose upside down heart, and this is like a dragonfly. Near future. Queen of Cups, Queen of Love. Cups are water energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Queen of Cups, Queen of Love. Hearts for eyes. Two. She's loving, she's caring, she's compassionate, she's a nurturer, she's a good partner, she's a good parent. The queen of cups, the queen of love. Where do you find yourself? Six of wands, the victory card. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The, it's six of wands. It's like you are in a parade. Everybody is waving at you, clapping. You've been victorious. External influences, Santa Morta, the death and rebirth card, Scorpio energy, the death is the end of a painful cycle, and the rebirth means the start of a new beautiful journey, like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon, death and rebirth. End of a painful cycle. You can see she's pregnant. Rebirth. Hopes and or fears. Two of swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of swords talks about cutting someone out of your life. I feel like who's ever got you in nine swords? Maybe the one. But you know, you know your life better than me. This is having to cut something or someone out of your life. Overall outcome, chariot, 
This is cancer energy, the chariot. Um, you could be car shopping. You could have just bought a car. Uh, this is also talking about moving forward and like kind of like the two of pentacles in the beginning. Um, you need to pick a path. It's like oh, there's a fork in the road and you need to go one way or the other. So it might be traveling for work or traveling to see your person. The chariot. Bottom of the deck. Nine pentacles. A single card. Pentacles are earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is grounded, balanced, stable. Business person. Uh, makes their own money. Takes care of their own money. Is independent. Single because they want to be single. Ace of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aces are all about new. Wands are passion. This is a new passionate beginning. Don't you have new love? New love, new passion. Four of Pentacles. Pentacles are earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Four of Pentacles talks about saving more than you spend. Watch your money. Don't spend frivolously. Save more than you could spend. Or save more than you spend. Knight of Cups. Ooh, the lover. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Knight of Cups. He's a younger energy than the Queen, which you had here. There's a difference in age. The King of Cups. He's the lover. He's romantic. He's sweet. Um, talking about love. But this could be an inconsistent night. This could be an inconsistent night. Just to keep your eyes, or uh, just to keep you aware. For what I think, as I said, he's a younger energy than the queen and a little bit more immature. So he may have the tendency to run in and out of your life. Six of Swords. Six of Swords. This is moving away from something that no, no longer serves you. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This was a painful cycle. Like the death card. End of a painful cycle. You're moving, on, moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. Moving away from something that no longer serves. This could be what you had to cut out of your life. Love cards. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Queen of Love is very soon. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay positive. Bottom of the deck, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this move, moment fully, which is kind of like nine cups. So, very soon, stay optimistic about your love life and attraction. So, we had self-love, self-worth, self-esteem, single because you deserve someone great. Nine of Pentacles, single because you choose to be single. We had new love, new passion. The Queen of Love. The Knight of Love. Friendship. New Cycle. Beautiful. All right, Virgo. Have a great day. I will talk to you. Not tomorrow, but the next day. This is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Bye.